It's nothing I hear greater when it's coming to my family. I keep my girls right by my side like a fanny. Giant crawling to the zone and she so fancy. Dirty came out first, so she so unlike her daddy. I just wanna give my girls the world and make them happy. You shit out my girl, I can't wait till we get married. My bad, I'm coming for anything. I'm running for best, talking about that wedding ring. I can never repair, she gave me my offspring. Good morning, everybody. So I'm about to do a little mini pregnant morning routine. Um, the girls are my alarm clock. And I usually do wake up. Milk already. Usually they're content. I'll just hear them playing and, you know, I'm doing what they do in their cribs. Sometimes they're fussy and they're calling my name like mama, mama, mama. Now that they can say mama is rare that they're like saying dada in there. And let's go take them their milk. Oh. Good morning, babies. Good morning, Jaya. Oh, now Jeremy's coming over here. Good morning, baby. Here you go, big girl. Sit down. Careful. Careful. Get your milk. Good job. Hey, Jaya. Can I see your face? Can I see your face? Let mommy get this out of the crib. I, oh, no. Don't you raise sand with me. Mama just wanted to see his skin, so her skin looks like it's clearing up. Y'all know we had to rush her to the doctor. She was, yeah, say thank you. Okay, so I just changed the girls' diapers, and the next thing that we do is they grab the vague ultrasound, but I still want them to hold it while I do the um, prayer. Hold on, remember Mama said hold on to these. Put them real tight. over playing with the girls and then I can go and do my self-care stuff that I do for the morning. Bye babies. Okay guys so the next part of my um, morning pregnancy routine is to actually do my self-care which is brush my teeth, wash my face, take a shower and get ready before I get something to eat. I have a little one right here Jaya. Jaya Beer. Both of the girls have been clinging to me really really hard this entire pregnancy and Jaya was not hearing it to not be around me so I had to bring her a part of this but you guys if y'all didn't know pregnancy brings out um your crazy hormones your hormones are fluctuating and all the other craziness and your appetite is all over the place and me personally y'all already know I have a dairy intolerance so I try to be mindful of not eating dairy. this entire pregnancy I have been going dairy crazy so it's time for me to do a detox and I'm using my favorite detox mask from Teeny Blends this is actually the only mask that I've used I have very sensitive skin so I'm very particular with um, skincare products this is safe for pregnancy it's all natural I um, mean it rejuvenates your skin and it cleanses out your pores and all that stuff so I wanted to make sure I did a mask this week um, and I will be carrying this out throughout my entire pregnancy so all I'm gonna do is um, go ahead and clean my hands with my face and I'll have the um, link in my description box below for you guys to check it out so the only thing you don't want to do is wash your face and since I've been having so much dairy, I need to definitely purge my skin and still take care of my skin while I'm pregnant. And also, while you're pregnant, there's not a lot of skincare products that are safe for pregnant women. So I'm so happy that Teamy Blends has a detox mask that is. So Jai Bear, you want to see what mommy's going to do? Mommy's going to take a thin layer, 
and apply it all over my face. She's looking at me like, what the world? Can y'all see her? Y'all can see her right here. She's like, what is going on, mommy? Let me hold this and let me hold this in my hand because babies, they will be touching something with the quickness, so you have to be quicker than them at all times. You see what mama's doing, baby? Mama has to do a detox. Now, when I was pregnant with the girls, my pregnancy hormones were crazy in general. And I think it was just simply because y'all know they say, um, girls steal your beauty. But this time around, and I wasn't even eating that much dairy with them. This time around, it's like, y'all, I'm just, I can't tell y'all. I'm ashamed and embarrassed at all the dairy. But that's why I have my teeny blends because they come through with products that are safer and natural and actually do help and rejuvenate. Now you're gonna only use, leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes. So usually whenever I get in the shower is when I um, will end up washing it off. Jai Beard, I'm not going to the camera, baby. And um, yeah, so simple as that. And I have a cold. And you guys can use my link. Um, and it'll be in the description box below. <laughs> Say hey, baby. Now she's looking right. <laughs> Does it look good, mama? Like okay guys, so this is how everything looks. I've washed off the mess. I'm about to get in the shower. I had to go um, put um, the girls down for their nap. But like I said, you guys, click the link in my description box if you guys would like to check out Teeny Blend. All their amazing products. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby. How you playing games with your mama? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, when I went in there to do uh, the prayer in the middle of the night, she woke up and looked at me, but... She went right back to sleep. Say happy birthday. Hello. Say happy birthday. <laughs> Say happy birthday, Grandpa. Say happy birthday. Say happy birthday to you. Say happy birthday. Why are you looking at me like that, Jaya? Did she hang up on him? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey. Oh, yeah. I thought she hung up on you. She just took it off speaker. <laughs> yeah. Zarni was holding the phone when we called, but Jaya, she went on the phone to herself these days. You at work? Huh? Yeah, you at work? Hello? Hello? Yeah, Jaya, Jaya was putting the phone on mute. Baby, you gotta just hold the phone. <laughs> say, say, are you at work? Oh, she walking away. Yeah. Bye, Jaya. See you later. <laughs> I guess I figured you was at work. Oh, yeah. You wanna get in your chair? Dad, dad. When did the baby do? I told you yet. Mm. I'm gonna give you more. You gotta what? You gotta. Journey will beat you up if you don't give her as much as. Okay, okay. I'm gonna turn. I had to get some more footage. It's Jaya's turn. Here, Jaya. Okay. Okay. You didn't take your turn. And Journey is about to take my whole knee. There we go. Okay, baby. What? Why are you so upset? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Johnny, it wasn't your bite. Swallow, swallow. <laughs> I gotta cool it off, baby. Uh-uh, get you. I hold it. 
Y'all can't feed yourself oatmeal. Okay. Good. Mm. Okay, guys, so I'm watching this video. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know her. This is Dulce. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. But yeah, she's an OG on YouTube in the beauty community, blah, blah, blah. I've been watching her for years um, on and off. I was I used to watch her consistently, but the last time I was watching consistently, I remember she was trying to conceive her second child and it was not um, happening for her and her husband. Um, and I'm so excited because I just saw this notification pop up of a 21-week um, um, bump date in her exciting pregnancy journey and I was like of course I want to watch um so that I can you know support her journey I was supporting it prior to but you know like it's in a way sometimes but um yeah I was like let me go ahead and check into her video y'all I'm trying to make sure the camera don't fall but um yeah so if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all would have seen me post three little slides that she had talked about in her video and it was pretty much just about it was, she was giving a general message um to everyone to protect their energy and be mindful of the company you keep and stuff like that but more specifically to pregnant women because this is a very critical time in your life you know you're growing a child and everything that you do or don't do directly or could indirectly impact that baby and everybody doesn't believe it I personally do I do definitely feel like it is very important to to guard your energy and and very uh, be very mindful of like the negative stuff that you're allowing into your space um, into your mental while the baby is growing and she gave like a little um personal story that happened to her with one of her close friends and um when i seen her give this story i was like oh my gosh it's so crazy because i had wanted to pick up my camera earlier today and say something but i was like you know what keisha don't even worry about it don't even, don't even say anything but then when i saw this and i saw her give her personal story i was like you know what i definitely should because I do all the time like I always speak up on my platform um, and keep you guys in the loop with things that are going on for the most part but anyways in a nutshell I didn't watch through I didn't finish watching the entire video but I did get the the gist of what she was trying to say like how she has a really really close friend or someone she thought was a really really close friend and the person is this looks sorry you guys I'm just being extra right now but she has a really close friend um and the person she's 21 weeks pregnant the person has not reached out not one time with a text or a call or anything to say congratulations for her pregnancy and i as a fan like know how important this was if i had her number i would hit her up and say congratulations just because it's kind of like like i'm so excited for you you know this is something big i know you've been wanting to be a mom again blah 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 she already has a son but you know this is something that i know as a spectator how much it meant to her so anybody who's her close friend should definitely know too and that's why social media that's one of the biggest benefits for me um being on social media is because i have you know a platform with thousands and thousands of people who have been watching me for the last however long i've been doing youtube and um it's it's it's, it's interesting to see how hard my keys and my duns go for me you know like even when i announced the pregnancy after the miscarriage and you know all the love and support you know even with the virtual baby shower like y'all went y'all were so supportive i could never thank y'all enough for all of that and even with the girl's birthday that just passed i wish i could have shown y'all all the messages from people who wanted to send the girl's birthday gifts and I, and i didn't like decline them in a way but i wasn't like like, oh yeah, send me gifts, you know, because I just felt, you know, a little iffy. You know, it's always kind of weird just to, you know, have you guys sending me stuff and me just like, oh yeah. But if you send it, I'm, of course, I'm going to accept it, blah, blah, blah. But if you all reach out and ask me, like, hey, can I send a girl something? Like, I always feel like, you know, I'm like asking y'all to do too much, even though y'all offer it. But anyways, yeah, so it was like seeing that over the years and seeing how hard you guys go for me. Like, it's very easy for me to like distance myself from people and i'm like if i have subscribers who can do this or do that i know dang on well somebody who you know who can pick up the phone who has my number who can come and meet me who can you know whatever like i even you know you post things on social media you can see who's seeing your stories you can see all that like social media makes it so easy to figure out who's really in your circle and who's really just watching your every move type stuff and i've seen people when i posted the pregnancy because i didn't tell we didn't tell um too many people about the pregnancy um but i seen people who watched it and didn't even say a congrats keisha i was like wow crazy but you know it's, it is what it is you live you learn you you move forward you just keep it pushing 
But anyway, so I definitely understood her testimony to that. But that was what I wasn't going to pick up the camera and tell y'all. I just wanted to show how I could relate. But I was going to pick up the camera and say what I could relate to is the whole energy thing. So I'm pretty sure we've all been able to be aware of my moodiness and i've been honest with you guys i have been very moody this pregnancy last pregnancy was very hard because i was very sick i was really really sick and i was dealing with that aspect of pregnancy this time around i've been blessed to not have to deal with the sickness and now i'm dealing with the moodiness which i would definitely take the moodiness over the sickness any day but um i've been very emotional and every little thing that would normally just bother me because i'm normally emotional like has now take like bothered me to another level so i've been trying to watch and pay attention to the stuff that I do some of you guys have noticed that I'm not as active in the comment section anymore and like that's why I told you guys in the beginning of the year like when we made like the first or second video like my girls are off limits and that was one of the biggest reasons because I just knew like at that time like how emotional I had been and how you know the even more defensive I had been I was like you're not gonna be able to handle seeing no craziness so I that's why I just gave a disclaimer we just gonna delete and block moving forward and that's just what it's gonna be but and I've been doing really really good I've been able to pat myself on the back um and and, and just told myself he should no explaining this year no doing none of that your your goal in life is to be a mom to your your babies who are already here with you and to keep your energy positive for the baby that you're currently growing but this morning y'all y'all so this morning i had someone leave a very very hateful negative comment and it was after i seen like two other negative comments in general but someone had left a very negative hateful comment in regards to um my children and it just set me off i started crying i was like you know what bump it i'm taking a break from youtube and all this other stuff i was just all of my feelings all of my emotions um and then you know someone said he should take a step back breathe you know just just take time to really think about it process it and then i started realizing like all the positive love that i was getting in the comments and then all the stuff that i always get from you guys on a regular through dms and all the other stuff like even i had posted something on my dms that someone sent me like a day ago about the pregnancy and you know just how many people really do f with me like in in general so I decided I'm not going to take a break. But I did decide that I am going to protect my energy. So I'm not going to be as active in the comments. I'm going to take another step. I'm going to take an even further step back from that. So I hope you guys understand that in general. Um, I'm still going to I'm still gonna go through it. I'm still going to, you know, look at it. Um, um, I'm just not going to go through it all day. Like I usually do. I try to like look at everything. So in case I don't miss anything, I can respond. So lately I've been trying to do it half the time I was doing it before. But now I'm really going to take another step back. Because I'm I'm not, I can't handle all that right now. And I got to be honest with you guys. I just can't. Like my emotions are just all over the place. And it's getting to me. I even had to curse the girl out. And I stand by what I said. Because when you're talking about my kids, I'm going to say what I got to say. But it's just, I don't even want to have to be dealing with all that. And the people out in this world are so evil. And people are not going to change what they feel. And I don't even care about changing th those negative people. But I got to protect myself. And I got to protect my energy for my baby. And, and for my family. <sighs> Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm out of breath. But, um, yeah. And just seeing Dulce. 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 Y'all know. Dolce, Dulce. Seeing her talk about, you know, like her friend and, you know, I don't know what how the story ends and what she decided to do to protect her energy with it. But obviously I can get it. Like I said, I understand, you know, just how hard it can be. So many people, like I just feel like have no regard and like are so disrespectful when it comes to um to people's feelings in general and then like i feel like oh people now that they see that i'm pregnant they're like oh now i'm really gonna try to get to her because i know she's pregnant and like every day is someone new trying to just say something to 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 upset me and frustrate me and right before i started this i went to my dms because i haven't been going through the, going to them in a while and I see a girl damning me some craziness, but it's like, and, but for you to even put, oh, and I know you're pregnant, but, and it's just like, for what, like, I just want, I'm going to continue to pray, continue to listen to my sermons, continue to do things positive. So you guys do leave me comments, letting me know some, some things that are safe for pregnancy that I can do to keep my energies for those who have experienced the moodiness and the emotions being like crazy. Like, please let me know some things that I can do to, to, to guard and protect my emotions and stuff other than, you know, like completely ignoring people and deleting and blocking but just some things that can just keep my energy positive um because i really need to 
make sure I do that. Um, pregnancy has been a blessing all in all and I'm so grateful for this new life that I'm creating and stuff. Um, and you know, I have such a huge responsibility to men. They just, they have the easiest part. They get, <laughs> y'all know how it happens, but they have the easiest part. And then we are forced to sit here and sacrifice nine months of our lives and just we have to change everything every single thing and you don't know how your body is going to respond because every pregnancy is different and yeah so we have such a hard part and i really want y'all to send me like even if it's some books i can read um some inspirational pages on instagram i want to be able to see that more or just some different things that i can do in general um because it, it's just, i just really want a positive environment positive mood positive experience like i said i can't control what people say in the comments all i can do is delete and block help and since there's so many of you guys who watch this who you know probably have been pregnant before and can definitely understand like i definitely remember when i was pregnant and i was going through those things some people just don't get it I'm about to go to the um go to Publix to go get some groceries and stuff i was gonna vlog while i was there but i decided against it because y'all i'm literally about to fall out i'm like so hungry I'm so hungry, so I need to just go in there. I just want to let y'all know what I was gonna do, but y'all see the groceries when they come back. I had made the um uh, started the meat, <laughs> and she put it in this pot. I said, "Mom, what you over there boiling?" Cause I did. I usually put mine in the um. Y'all know the pots I use. I said, "Mom, I ain't never, you know, oh hey, they they gonna cook however, and I gotta figure it out too." Elmo, this here. Let me be um be quiet, Elmo, cause Elmo be flagging me. Elmo be flagging the channel, baby. Won't sit still. Won't sit still. Look at this. This is so silly. I ain't even gonna show the footage because they got the cup. Who dropped that cup on the um, floor? Jaya. Because you the one who be drinking out of this cup, mama. So, yeah, that's just what we doing. If these spam people don't stop calling my phone, Jesus. They start early at the crack of dawn, calling people phone. Don't even stop to the night. <laughs> Come bring it to mommy. Thank you, baby. Oh, you can give it to me. Thank, oh, Jaya. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to cut the aloe. And I think I can just cut. I don't even need that much, so maybe I should start right here. Oh, y'all see that? All the gunk. Then, I'm gonna cut. What is everybody yelling about? Huh? You already know. Girls. Mommy about to you put it in your, their hair tonight. Yeah. Yo, these girls with these walkers. Let's go. Pastel um, twins, let's roll. Let's roll. We got her nice sink bath ready for her right here. Daddy first. Get in, baby. Put this towel around you. You wanna? This is a new type of thing. Look at her, yo. Yeah. You washing her hair with that? Yeah, you're supposed to put it in her. Um, you're supposed to dampen it. Based on, uh, uh, you gotta keep this on. The world can't be affording to see your beauty. Um, your body. Just gonna dampen your hair. Ooh, Jay, uh, 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 uh. Look at that baby. Okay. This is my first time doing it, so bear with me. Ooh, look at that. So to add more. Journey, your turn next, baby. Wow. Uh, Journey, you knock my clothes. Wow! Wow! Go Jaya! Go Jaya! Go Jaya! Go Jaya! 
Yeah. You supposed to leave it in? I gotta look back at the video. I think you're supposed to leave it in for 15 minutes. Okay, guys. And Jai will let us. Mm -hmm. Sit. Mm -hmm. 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 Mm -hmm